Good morning, good morning. Welcome, Periscope. Good morning, Facebook Live. God bless you. God morning, God morning to you. God bless you, Dana Andrea. God morning unto you. Those of you who will watch this on the replay, God bless you, Brother Knotts. God bless you, His Love, Favor 2011. Thank you so much for inviting your followers. God bless you. We want to come in the room as quickly as possible. I don't have a lot of time, but I feel the breath of God, the wind of God, and the push of God on this word this morning. So we are here today. God bless you. Many of you who are connecting, God bless you. Glory, 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 glory. Got morning, got morning, got morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. Much love to all of you who are connecting this morning. Lady Michelle, Lady Peoples, God bless you. Lady Audra, Judy, Ter Judy Therese, Dr. Rosette, God bless you. KJ Hollow, got morning. L Pleasures, God bless you this morning. We're going to give it a couple more seconds and then we're going live with this word of the Lord this morning. God bless you, Katie Surreal. It's been a minute since I've joined you all in the morning with the word. Hallelujah. We've been praying. Thank God for prayer. Oh my God. Prayer will move mountains in Jesus name. God bless you. Those of you who are connecting here on Facebook. Listen, hallelujah. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Um, they're just going to have to catch the replay. I just believe God is going to bless them because I want to make sure that I can get as much of the word of the Lord that God is given me this morning and to those of you who are here this morning i believe god that this is a right now word of the lord hallelujah god morning shiana coates and god morning unto you Ethelda fry sheila fitch god bless you lady linda um god bless you heavenly do and thank you all so much for sharing and inviting with your followers this morning god bless you unto you this morning um so th th i was very i was very stirred this morning um now i believe it was on saturday the lord began to deal with me and i heard the lord begin to say that it was mountain moving May. It was going to be a mountain moving May. And I was like, okay, God, you know, that's awesome. Wonderful. And just waiting for him to put some more on it. But the pressure and the fight that has been against me releasing this word, um, has caused me to say, you know, no matter what, we're going to release this word today. I believe God that there was a momentum. There's an acceleration that God wants to render unto the body of Christ as he pushes forth the, the tasks, the assignments and the agendas of many of you. And, 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 and there has been a fight. There been warfare that you've been experiencing to come against your productivity in the spirit and that which you are expected to manifest this month and I believe God that there are many things that are to manifest there's many miracles that God is looking to do many signs and wonders and and things that need to be accomplished within the kingdom and the body of Christ so that other people can see the moving power of Almighty God and that he works on the behalf of his people so that they also know what is available to them and 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 the warfare that has come against you know me even me being able to release this word, I know that it has to be intense. And so I could no longer hold it up. I, I was waiting, you know, Father, is this what you want me to release on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday? It's all about his divine timing. And I could not allow it to delay any longer. And so different things that he mentioned regarding the mountain, um, you know, and so the first thing he led me to was Mark chapter number 11, verse number 22. And, um, and I'll go there in just a moment. Uh, but, but I was, as he was, as I was pressing in and he was telling me, I'm like, he said, this is the month where you move mountains. This is the mountain or the month where you move mountains through your prayer and by your faith. And also that this is the month that you move mountains because you're speaking to it. You are literally speaking to your mountain. And you're telling it what to do, knowing your authority, your power that you have within the Lord, uh, your authority, your dominion that God has given you is very important. And also the, be, you being able to uh, um, affect the changes because you are causing things to happen in the spirit and in the natural. This is the time where you have to push past whatever you got to push past to do the things that the Lord has called you to do. It is a sense of urgency that is what is occurring. And he said, not only would you move the mountains, but also that the wind of God, the breath of God, and the movement of God, the power of God would be with you to also move the mountains and the obstacles and the things that have been in your way because it's essential that these things happen and, and these things must be. It is essential that these things must be and that they must be now. And, and so um, as, as I began to continue to press in, uh, on Saturday morning, he woke me up and this was right before the prayer call and I hadn't had an opportunity to process it. And so, you know, I, I, I just continue to allow it to serve. 
And he said that this is the rest before the run. Many of you have felt like you have been able to, God bless you, Apostle YB, love you, man of God. Um, may the blessing of the Lord overtake you in Jesus' name. Much love to you, uh, um, Brother Wingate, God bless you. And so the Lord said that many of you have been experiencing what seemed like rest, what seemed like quiet, what seemed like silence. Many of you may have felt like you were tired. Many of you felt like you needed to rest. And he said, I allowed you a time of rest, but that was the rest before the run. Because now is the time for you to run and not be weary. This is the time for God to move through you, but you have to take action. And, and when he was saying, this is your month, God bless you, man of God, um, apostle. And, and as he said, this is your month that you must do both because it's like the, uh, the children of Israel when Nehemiah was on the wall and literally he had to have, you know, the hammer in one hand and a spear in another. This is the month where you do both, where you're going to have to worship and war. This is the month where you're going to have to war and build. I need you to be able to press past and press through whatever opposition has been fighting you. And I know many of you feel like I am tired, but I need you to do it anyway. I thank God for the grace of God and the mercy of God, but this is not that hour where you are going to get a pass. The mercy of the Lord is there with you and it's for you, but you have to push through it. This is the month where you push through it and you do what he has called you to do. And so he said also, that things are about to move quickly and, and he's touching you to strengthen you. So literally, if you remember in the book of Daniel, chapter number 10, Daniel had been praying for understanding. He had been seeking God and, and the angel of per, the angel came to him in Daniel chapter number 10 and Daniel said, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. And, and so he started feeling weak and he dropped to his knees when the angel finally came and he said, I heard you the first time that you prayed. Many of you, you've been praying, you've been asking God, you've been seeking God, you've been believing God. And he said, I've heard you the very first time that you pray and I was on my way but I got held up. Many things have seemed like they've been held up because of opposition that has happened in the second heavens and in, in the second heavens but God is saying hallelujah that thing is busting through, breaking through and your help is on the way. And what did he do? Literally he touched Daniel and he said um, he, and as he touched him he gave him strength enough to speak. God is saying that I'm touching you, I'm giving you the strength that you need but you need to move forward. You got to do what you got to do because that's in Daniel chapter number 10, but in Daniel chapter number 11, it says in verse number two, that they that know their God shall do great exploits. This is your hour. This is your season. This is the hour of the church of the kingdom of God, where you will do great exploits as you know your God, because you know that the power is in the God that you serve. This is your hour for you to take action. No more slowfulness in Jesus name and no more looking at yourself. The Bible talks about in Romans chapter number four and as well in his Hebrews chapter number 11. It said that Abraham, even Abraham, our father Abraham, it says that, hallelujah, he looked not at the deadness of his own self. He looked not at the deadness of Sarah's womb. That is how his faith was attributed as righteousness because I'm not looking at me. It's not counting on me. Stop looking at how much energy you have, your abilities, your capabilities, because that is not what gives you strength. It is in knowing, hallelujah, that the promise of God, it is what is backing you and propelling you and pushing you to be able to do what needs to be done in this hour in the name of Jesus. Your strength is through him. But so I need you to push past whatever you need to push past. Hallelujah. He said, receive my strength. And he said, stay super focused. This is the time for you to have a hyper intense focus. You got to be focused. You got to work through the distraction. They are coming, but I need you to defy your distractions in the name of Jesus. Defy your distraction. Hallelujah. There are things that you might sense and you may feel. Hallelujah. But I need you to not look at your own limitations because it is God who is causing you to be able to do everything you need to do. Listen, it has seemed like um, um, that, that there is a, um, a hurried patience and, and a patient urgency. There are many things you cannot move ahead of God. You And so I, I'm trying to break this down for you. You cannot move ahead of God, but you have to work with him understanding that the time is now and now is the time, but you have to be able to wait patiently upon the Lord. And, and so, so don't push the buttons and don't take away from what God is doing. He said, I'm releasing to you the joy that you need because the joy of the Lord is your strength. You need to watch your emotions and manage your emotions because the enemy is trying to cause you to be weary because you're going on these emotional roller coasters. The Lord says, hallelujah, I am sending you the peace that you need. Hallelujah, I'm sending you whatever patience you need to trust in me and in my timing. Hallelujah, you work, hallelujah, and you pray and you fast as if it's all up to God, but I also need you to 
work as though it's all up to you. I need you to do your part. Hallelujah. God is saying this is the month where you do both. In Jesus name. He said there are miracles that he is ready to manifest. There are even yesterday as we were praying and the Lord said hallelujah. This is how he is going to rebuild the world. This is how he's going to rebuild the church. It's through rebuilding of the family. God is ordaining godly uh, and kingdom ordained destiny mates and destiny marriages in Jesus mighty name to be able to rebuild the families and that is how he's going to re-strengthen the families there's restitution there's restoration there's reconciliation that is coming but it is coming through healing and so as you press into the Lord to receive the healing of the Lord for your own self and your own soul you possession you position yourself to be ready for the kingdom purpose of marriage the kingdom purpose of marriage let me tell you this is not for the heels and frills this is for purpose in Jesus mighty name and so he's setting up purpose partners and that's how he will rebuild the families which will rebuild the communities which will rebuild the cities and the states and the countries and the nations because it is important for the world to be able to see it it happens first in the church and so he says hallelujah there are th other things to come but we must do our part we must do the work you need to stop thinking that everything is going to magically happen you have to do the work you're gonna feel you're gonna but you have to defy your feelings hallelujah your feelings are fickle and they are fake and they can lie to you i need you to have faith over your feelings and do your part in jesus name don't get caught up in it. This is not everything that's pretty. Everything is about kingdom purpose in Jesus' name. Ambidextrous, exactly. And that's what he is saying. As a matter of fact, I, I saw that that was another thing that I read the other day. Um, and, and it was in Second Chronicles, and or excuse me, First Chronicles. And it was talking about David's mighty warriors. And David's mighty warriors, it says that they were able to um, to, to throw slings with, with the left arm and the right hand. They were able to do it with both. God is saying that this is your month where you have to be able to do it with both. You have to be able to do both. In Jesus name stop limiting your own self because he wouldn't expect anything of you if you were not able to do it and so you're capable but uh, many of us have limited ourselves in Jesus name and so he said it, it, it is going to be better than you hoped it, it would be and, and he's asking you why did you doubt? You've been doubting me and, and he said why did you doubt? In other words the thing has already been done in Jesus name and so why did you doubt? Because he's asking you on the other side because it's already finished. You just need to get to the other side and so he says I'm going to make it worth it he said I'm going to come through I'm going to show off for you hallelujah and it's got to be worth it he's not going to necessarily replace um, things hallelujah some of you are looking for God to do a replacement and he said hallelujah it's not necessarily going to be the same but he is going to restore and it's going to be better than you imagine for some of you he says see I uh, see to it I know that you could trust me you are going to say see I know that you could trust me and it's better Hallelujah. Some of you, God has said, I need you to trade what you've been holding on to for what you need to get from me. He says, if you release what's in your hand, what you've been holding on to, I'll release what I have in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so as he said that this is mountain moving May, I'm going to go ahead and release these two scriptures. And then I have a dream of the Lord that I want to release to you. And I'm speaking really fast because I don't have a lot of time, but I am full of word. And so you might have to listen to this again on the replay, but I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, you need to hear this. This is a right now word. Now, not to mention um, that there will be more to follow. This uh, There's more parts of this because this is what God is doing right now in this hour and in this season. You need to be able to hear what the, it said. The Bible says that the sons of Issachar knew the times and the seasons of God. And if you know the times and the seasons, you can maximize the season so you're not sleeping on it. And so the Bible says in Mark chapter number 11, we're going to go here really quick. Verse number 22, I'm going to read this in your hearing, hallelujah, and the Bible says, hallelujah, have faith in God, period. There were those, and he was walking with his disciples, and they they had been doubting, or excuse me, this was after the they had cursed the fig tree, and then they walked by it the next day, the first day that when Jesus cursed it, it looked like nothing had happened, and so, but they walked by it, and on the second day, hallelujah, they noticed that it was, it was, it had already begun to wither up. There are some things that you have done, some things that you have seen, and and it seems like nothing has happened yet. Hallelujah. But it's already happened in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. And you have to trust it and keep moving in the name of the Lord. And so as they began to keep moving, I need to see some hearts or something. So I know that your guys are still there and it's still working and it's still live. Hallelujah. And so then he goes on to say, 
Hallelujah. He goes on to say uh, um, that, that it actually had been cursed. And, and so th there are things that you're going to see that, that it looks like there's been no change in the moment, but it's already done in the name of Jesus. And so they go further on and they see that it, what has already taken place. And it says uh, in the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree wither from the roots. And Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered like he was surprised. God says, you don't be surprised in the season because it happened in the moment that you spoke it. It happened in the moment that you said it, that you declared it, that you decreed it. And you need to trust that it's already done. And so then he says, have faith in God, period. Listen, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. You need to have faith in God, period, in Jesus' name. And he says, Jesus answered, truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. They had doubted, but Jesus didn't doubt. And Jesus, the one that spoke it, as you begin to speak to things, as you begin to declare things as you begin to decree things in the spirit you have to trust and believe that it's done you don't have time to look and watch and wait to see if it's happening because there is more that you need to do there's other things that you need to move on to you just trust that it's already done so he said have faith in God and trust that whatever you say you speak to that mountain and you tell it to move and believe that it is moved and you keep on pushing because the next time you come around you will see that it is moved you'll see that that thing that you you curse hallelujah is gone it is dead it's over it's a wrap it's a finito in Jesus name. There are things that you need to speak and decree and declare that they are going to manifest in your life and trust and believe that they are already done in Jesus name. And God says, hallelujah. When you do what he has allowed you and given you authorization to do in Jesus name, he's going to do what only he can do. There are assignments, there are tasks that he wants you to do. And that is what he is asking you for. Speak to it, speak to yourself and say, I will not, I will not be delayed. I will not be intimidated. I will not be afraid. I will do what thus saith the Lord. I will put my body under subjection and I will sit here and I will finish the task, the assignment at hand. There are things that you need to sit down so the Lord can give you the download so you can write the book, so you can write the blogs there, and the business plans. There are many things that you need to accomplish and this is your hour to do it and you cannot do it while you're sitting up there thinking about and worrying about and waiting to see if what you already spoke is getting ready to come to pass when you could already be moving on to the next thing, already trusting that what you, what God allowed you to release with your mouth, he is responsible for doing the work and it's already done in Jesus name and so there are other mountains and circumstances and situations and obstacles that are not even going to have to come to you because God has already done that. And that's the part where that part of the battle is the Lord's and you will just be able to reap, reap that spoil. This is a mountain moving made, but you have to do both. You have to be able to speak to it. Hallelujah. And as apostle said, ambidextrous, you have to be able to speak to it while you keep on moving, while you keep on working, while you keep on doing what the, that, what you need to do. And also hallelujah, the praise and the worship while you are in the midst of the warfare, feel the warfare and do it anyway. Don't stop working and don't let it slow up your work in Jesus mighty name. When Nehemiah and all them, they were on the wall, you know, and, and, and they were sent up there, uh, uh, Tobias, and, and they were sent up there and they were making insults and they were trying to be a distraction. Don't defy your distractions in Jesus name. Don't allow them to delay you in the name of Jesus. And so it says, hallelujah, does not doubt in his heart, but believe that what they say will happen. It will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it. I need you to believe that you have received it all already. Hallelujah. And it will be yours. When you believe that you received it, it will be yours. And it said, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your father in heaven may forgive you of your sins. And that's the part that many of us in the body of Christ need to know. We need to realize because this is, this is the hour where God does the heart work. This is the hour where if you have stuff on the inside of you, it's time for you to get that out of you because it cannot go with you where you are going because it will be a snare to you later. And so God is saying, I'm uprooting those things and I'm exposing those things that are in your heart wherever they are. If it's unforgiveness, if it's fear, if it's intimidation, if it's worry, it got to go because those are the things that have been distracting you even now in the name of Jesus and God is saying, I cannot afford to have any of that holding you up. It, whatever you got on the inside and so a be, don't be afraid to confront it and to face whatever that is. God bless you, Lady Demetria. I need you to face that thing head on. I need you to be ye delivered and set free, saith the Lord in Jesus name. I need you to give that thing over to me. No more holding on to that old junk because it has been a snare to you so far. And God is saying, I cannot allow that to hold you up and nor hold up his process any longer because now is the time. And this is mountain moving May. This is the month that God moves mountains. This is the month that you move mountains. And hallelujah. And he told me to tell you and to express to you that it is impossible listen, to move a mountain without expecting that some things are going to be shook up. The mountains are big. Mountains um, ha have been established 
established. They are set. And so don't be surprised when it feels like some of the foundation has begun to shake and, and, and doesn't feel when it feels like some things they have begun to move. When it seems like things are a little out of sorts, it's okay. It's part of the process in Jesus name. And so some of you have been confused and you've been worried because you felt like there's been a shaking, but God said it's already been part of the process. Listen, there are quakes and there's earthquakes. It seemed like they happen. Oh, but oh my God, there is an earthquake that will also bring the tsunami of the power of God, whereby you will also walk in in the name of Jesus, which leads me to my next verse of scripture. Hallelujah. I got to get through this really quick. I'm trying to give you all that I can. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in Acts chapter number four and verse number 20 now, 29. Now, Lord, consider their threats and, and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. This is what you need in this hour in the name of Jesus. And this is their prayer. This is their prayer. And he says, hallelujah. I, I want you, Father. I want you for it. They did it with their power and they were trying to decide beforehand what should happen. But these men of God began to pray and they said now Lord consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. You need to be bold and you need to be courageous in this hour. Hallelujah and this is my prayer unto you today in the name of Jesus. It says stretch out your hand God and heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And that is my prayer. Hallelujah that he would stretch out his hand and you would stretch out in him that as you he allows and as he affords and as he does. Hallelujah the miracles and the signs and the wonders. Hallelujah Hallelujah. Through his holy servant, Jesus Christ, through your brother, that you would be able to see the power of God and that the power of God would be manifest in your lives in Jesus name. And it says, after they pray, the place where they were meeting was shaking. God is doing a shaking. Hallelujah. In you, through you and for you. So don't be surprised of the shaking. Hallelujah. Because he's shaking things up to shake things where they should be, to shake off what is unnecessary in the name of Jesus, to position many of you in the body of Christ where he's been desiring to take you all along. So don't be intimidated. Intimidated. Don't be fearful. Don't be unsure when you experience the shaking that is part of the process for what he is doing to position you where he's having you to go. This is mountain moving made. So don't be surprised when stuff start moving. Hello, somebody. You got to be able to do both. You feel even the movement, but you don't get off kilter. You don't get off your rocker. You don't move. Hallelujah. You are grounded in him. And so that's why you are able to remain stable, though every other thing seems like it's shaking around you. Absolutely. This is your month for you to prepare. Hallelujah. If there's things you need to pack, things are getting ready to move suddenly, quickly, and expeditiously in the name of Jesus. That's why you have to be able to, to, to divinely be ambidextrous. Hallelujah. Be able to do this and that. And at the same, hallelujah, there, there is an ability, hallelujah, that God is trying to give you before you were thinking, okay, let me finish this task before I move on to that. And God is saying, no, there are times where you're going to have to do this, and then you move and you do this, and then you go back to that. Hey, God is saying, I need you to be sensitive and submissive it as I give you the instruction that I release to you and do what I'm telling you to do in the moment. Hallelujah. And trust me that as you stay sensitive to hearing me, you'll be able to know what you need to do at each and every moment so that you can do everything that God has called you to do in this hour. So this is a word that God is releasing unto many of you, but it also includes much instruction. So you'll probably need to listen to this again. Hallelujah. It says once the, the, that the meeting was shaken, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. And that is my prayer unto you that God would fill you again. Him, that he would fill you with his precious Holy Spirit that and then some and the more in the name of Jesus hallelujah and, and, and I don't have a lot of time to really work this but I'm going to try to release this to you really quick this is what uh, spurred the urgency in my spirit so quickly so deeply hallelujah even this morning it was when I, I, I woke up Hallelujah. Uh, um, and, and, and in the dream, let me just cut to the end and I'll probably go through with the rest a little bit later. But what I saw in my spirit, uh, there was, um, a someone, some, um, someone that I care for deeply and it, re and it represented, it, it represented people that are the, and, and they needed my help. And so they, they got out of my vehicle and they were getting ready to go into, um, in, into a school, which represented basically, uh, um, them going into the world, going into things with other people. But when they, they stopped and they said, you know, it's, it's your fault. You're making me do this. And, and so they went to reach inside this window of this truck. And as they went to reach inside the window of the truck, it wasn't that the window was down. The window was broken. And so as they went to reach in, the, the part of the, the glass from the window cut their chest open and it cut it into like a seam. And, and so, and as it did that, and, and they said, I almost touched the bow and the bow almost got me. And I was like, oh my God. And so, and I looked at them and, and they had been wounded because what it cut them. And I said, you got to cover 
over it. And they said, and, and, but it was too much. They were disoriented. And, and so then I said, okay, uh, because I wanted them to cover it while I rushed them to the hospital, which was nearby so that they could get the help that they needed. And so I could just focus on driving. And this is why I, the Lord also said, you need to be able to do both and because they were so disoriented. They could not cover up. So I literally had to cover them so that I could drive them at the same time and know that it wasn't going to slow me down. Hallelujah. And he said that there are many in the body of Christ and they are bleeding. Hallelujah. And then as I woke up, I heard 818 and I said, what is that God? And, and he said, Romans 818. He said that the creation of the world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God. Literally all creation has been waiting for you. I've been seeing that number over and over, but this time he said, hallelujah, all creation is waiting for you and for me, for us to be able to do both, for us to be able to cover them, for us to be able to stop their bleeding, hallelujah, reduce their bleeding, hallelujah, because they are bleeding, but they have been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you to get in position. They've been waiting for you to do what you need to do. They are waiting for you to manifest and you have not been manifesting. And so with the urgency of the Lord, he said, this is the month to move mountains in Jesus name, because it's important that these things happen because people are waiting on the manifestation of the glory of God to be revealed to you. And as the world is waiting and they are bleeding, you don't have any more time to wait. You don't have any more time to delay. And no, you cannot expect for them to hold and stop their own bleeding. You need to be, we need to be as a body of Christ able to hold and stop their bleeding. They are bleeding from their chest, from their heart. They're, these are matters of the heart that are literally bled, bleeding and they're losing life. And he said, I need you to be able to cover them and stop the bleeding as you drive, as I am the one who is also helping you and assisting you to drive and trust that you'll be able to do both. You'll be able to get where you need to get while you are able to help them stop the bleeding so that they can receive the help, hallelujah, from the hospital, which needs to be our churches, but it's really the Lord. It is the one who is doing the healing, but we need to be able to get them there. And so hallelujah, God is saying, I need you to hear the urgency of the Lord so that we can do what we need to do because there is a world that is dying out there, but he says that they are waiting for you and waiting for me. So father, Hallelujah. We thank you this morning. God bless you, Pastor Vinshard Dobbins. Love you so much, man of God. Hallelujah. This morning, Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you uh, that you would give us ears to hear what you were saying to the church, Father. And I pray, God, that there are things that people would not do for themselves. Oh, God, but may they do it for the sons and the daughters of God that are crying out in this world and they're bleeding. They're too disoriented to even be able to know to save themselves. And they've been injuring themselves and they're looking at everybody else because they should be able to to receive the help that they need, oh God. And so, Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that we as a church would stop being so focused on ourselves and our own bleeding or situation and circumstances and receive the healing of the Lord so that we can rise up and do what you've called us to do while we multitask as we're ambidextrous, as we do this and that, as we do both, as we cover and as we pray and as we drive and move forward through our de to our destiny, through a journey that you have for us in Jesus' name as we go further. Hallelujah for the King kingdom of God, hallelujah, is waiting for us, oh God, waiting for us to manifest and take our places, oh God, in the name of Jesus, may we no longer be moved by the spirit of fear, and may we not be in a place of shock and awe, where we don't know what to do, but Father, may we look to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, to hear your instructions, Father, so that we know how to be your hands and your feet in this earth, to help your people heal, and be set free and delivered, no judgment song, but we are looking at those who are bleeding, and they're bleeding deeply, and they're cut, oh, Father, and so may we be the hallelujah, the rescuers there need. Uh, if I waited to call 911, that person would have died. They would have bled out. But it was for me to be able to help them stop the bleeding and to get them to where help is. Father, let us not be so in fearful or intimidated that we are stuck, oh God. But may, may we not be no longer paralyzed by what we see. But may we move forward and take action for you, God, in the name of Jesus. May this be a month, hallelujah, where we also stop waiting to see what's going to happen when we release the word of the Lord. Lord, but may we trust and believe that when we speak that word, when we speak to the mountain, when we declare this, when we decree that, hallelujah, when we take our authority and the power and dominion that you've already given us, oh God, that we know it was done already in the moment in which that we spoke it, in the moment in which that we said it, Father, because we know that it is your power and it is beyond your words, God, that you caused it to take place in the first place in Jesus' mighty name. It is just our ability to do what you told us to do. And so, Father, we believe you now. We trust you now. And hallelujah. That 
that you will put the wind behind that which we have been praying, that which we have been saying, oh God. And so we ask you right now that you will forgive us, Father. We repent for not being effective. We repent, oh God, for being slowful. We repent right now for procrastinating. Oh God, for this is the month that we shall move further faster and we will say yes to your divine purpose, plan, and will for us in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. And no longer will we be in a spirit of slowfulness or delay in the name of Jesus. No longer will we be looking at just ourselves and our own self, oh God, when there is a world that you have called us out unto in the name of Jesus. So Father, we thank you for the direction and the insight, Father. Hallelujah. And we will remember, as you said, that they that know their God shall do great exploits. And so Father, you have great exploits for us, but we must know our God. And as we know you and as we know your nature, God, we know what you've enabled us to do, what you've empowered us to do. Hallelujah. And how we shall move forth and go forth in you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalms chapter number 107, hallelujah, verse 23, some went out on the sea in ships and they were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deeds in the deep. Oh God, may we not be intimidated to go out into the deep so that we can see your wonderful works as we go in the name of Jesus, Father God. Hallelujah. May we see your mighty works and your mighty wonders as you release them in Jesus name. And I thank you right now for the power and the anointing of your spirit, oh God, that we would move boldly and that we would receive a fresh and filling of your Holy Spirit for everything that we shall do in Jesus' mighty name because now is the time, now is the hour to manifest that which you have put on the inside of us. In Jesus' name we pray and we say and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Beloved, I love you so much. This is not the end of the word. I'll be releasing another word at some point about the changing of the guards. Hallelujah. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening in another dream of the Lord that he gave me. Hallelujah. I love you all so much. Be blessed. Have a wonderful and great, good and godly day. If you don't follow me, make sure you follow me, not because I want a million followers, but I'm clear about my assignment. My assignment is to hear from the Lord and be a watchman on the wall and release that word to you and through prayer and intercession to allow the manifestation of what God is trying to work out and to reveal, hallelujah, and to bring into and out of the earth through his people in Jesus' mighty name. And so... Hallelujah. You can follow me on Periscope, Facebook. Um, hallelujah. And then if you have any prayer requests, you can send them to me at Morning Manor with Lady Jeremiah on Facebook. If you have a praise report, post it to the wall. Morning Manor with Lady Jeremiah. I love you so much. Don't forget, as we consecrate ourselves daily, we are in the process of looking forward to Pentecost in Jesus' name. And God is already enduing his people with power in Jesus' name. He's enduing, enduing you with power so that you can fulfill your great commandment, your great commission, that thing that he has called you to in Jesus name. And so with that, as we are dedicating ourselves with a consecrated lifestyle in Jesus name. And so just like you tithe your money, we tithe our time. We tithe our day to the Lord, two hours and 24 minutes, minimum, at least of intentional time with the Lord every single day through prayer, praise, worship, and meditation. And so with that, our daily Bible reading, as we read the Bible every day for a year, we're in chronological order is second Samuel chapter number five. This is verses number 11 through 25. And then second Samuel six, 1 through 23. And then First Chronicles chapter number 13 through 16. If you need to catch this, you can get it on the replay. I love you so much. Thank you all so much for your prayers as you pray for me and cover me as I continue to cover you as well. I love you. Be blessed. Have a great, good, and godly day. Don't let your day dominate you, but you choose to dominate your day in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There is no rival. There is no equal unto him. Hallelujah. Now and forever, our God, he reigns in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. He is powerful. He is wonderful. And he is in doing you with power and he is causing you and he is requiring of you to be ambidextrous in this season in Jesus name that you understand that you can do both you can do more than one thing and he's calling you to that you can feel the fear and do it anyway in Jesus name you can war and worship at the same time anyway you can work and win at the same time anyway you can war and build at the same time anyway you need and you can cover as well as go forward hallelujah at the same time anyway. In Jesus' name, this is your hour to do both. I love you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed. God bless you.